parents came to this country in 1951. I was eight years old. And when I was about 10 years old, I was able to come to the center on my own because my parents lived on Anderson Place. And it's really been part of my life ever since. It became a place of uh, gainful employment for me as I, as I think about it. I ended up having every job imaginable here at the Jewish Center. I was sometimes a supervisor of uh, youth groups that they had here. I became a lifeguard. And to see it now is amazing. And to see the breadth of what's available here. And you know, if you think of immigrant communities that can come here. It's been very much part of my life. And part of my giving is uh, how much the Center gave to me and my family. It was the Holland family that participated and sponsored my parents to uh, this country. Both my parents were Holocaust survivors and they needed sponsors and it was uh, branches of the Holland family that sponsored them. And uh, so it's, it's just great to see that name on the building as well. My dad, he loved wearing his Speedo and he was in his 90s when he would wear his Speedo. He'd be about 95, 96. He really came to about a year before he passed away. Anne Holland was a first cousin of my father's. She would call my house periodically and say, you know, I just saw your dad. He looks fantastic. But, you know, he wears this Speedo. And I said, yeah, I know he does. And my father was very thin, uh, always flattered himself and looking good. And, but she said, you know, it, it's, I don't know if it's becoming or not the Speedo. So I said, well, she suggested I talk to him. Well, I didn't talk to him. So she called back again. And, she, and then she talked to me again, and she said the same thing. He's still wearing her Speedo, and she said, some of her friends are a little embarrassed. So I said, Ann, he's 96 years old. He can wear whatever he wants, and it's fine with me. And that was sort of the end of the interaction we had on my father's Speedo. But that's the story I have about the Jewish Center and my father. This is an organization that always will need funds, and I recognize that. And as you continue to expand, there's going to be a greater need for funds. Uh, so I think everybody should really incorporate this into their annual giving. And for me, as I said, it's easy. For me, it's just giving back. It's not a brand new giving. Um, so, uh, and, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity to be able to do that.